Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about CVE. CVE is basically common vulnerabilities and exposures. It's a system that provides a reference method for publicly known information security vulnerabilities and exposures. So it gets constantly updated with latest CVEs. The CVE we're going to talk about today is CVE 2019-19781. It's basically a vulnerability found in Citrix application delivery controller. Citrix Gateway and Citrix SD WAN WAN OP appliances. So, getting more into what it is, it's a vulnerability that has been identified by the Citrix application delivery controller, formerly known as Netscaler ADC, and Citrix Gateway, formerly known as Netscaler Gateway, that is exposed. It could allow like an uh, unauthenticated attacker to perform an arbitrary code execution. Now, I am gonna use three particular tools today to exploit this particular vulnerability. Before starting that, this particular vulnerability affects all Citrix ADC and Citrix Gateway versions from 10.5 to 13.0, and also Citrix SD WAN and WAN OP software. Of application model 4000, 4100, 5000, 5100. So, leaving all that aside, let's get started. So, I'm gonna basically go to GitHub. Okay, and I'm gonna search the CV name here. So, as I mentioned earlier. So here we got a pretty few results. I'm gonna use this one first. Okay, so this basically is a scanner for scanning this particular vulnerability. As you can see, you can just clone it from here. I already have it cloned. And the second one that I'm gonna give uses a netmap script. You can find this particular script in exploit database. So, I'm gonna go to exploit database. Here we are. All the exploits are available here. So I'm gonna write set tricks application. control uh, let me give it another try yeah so here we go uh, we're gonna use this one gateway 1310 so you will find the script here for nmap As you can see, there is a GitHub link available here. I'll open it. Here you will find the script for this nmap. As you can see, yeah, I already have the script installed. And the third software I'm gonna use is this one, Project Zero India. What it basically does is it exploits the vulnerability 1978. So these are the three things I'm gonna use. Now let's get started. So first thing. As I told you, I already have everything installed. So I'm directly going to go to the directory. So what this is, this is basically this one, the scanner I was talking about. Okay. So 
as you can see it's a python runnable so i'm gonna use python 3 so it's installed and it's working just fine so let me show you how it's used for that we need a attacking machine or a target so i'm gonna use something called shodan for finding a target it's uh, basically a search engine that lets the user find specific types of computers connected to the internet using a variety of filters so i'm gonna go to its official website here we go so i mentioned something earlier that this particular vulnerability is a ADC vulnerability and it works on net scalar ADCs so I'm gonna basically write here net scalar login okay so we have 11 results in total all around the world so let's see as you can see this particular message states that it's titled as Netscaler Gateway so this is the machine that has this particular vulnerability which we are exploring today so let me show you I'm gonna open it okay. so as you can see the vulnerability is there As I mentioned earlier, we are using three tools, so it's basically a three step. Our first step is identify. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this IP, go to the scanner, use this command, paste the IP here, and then I'm gonna specify a port. So as you can see, this particular port is available here. You can also scan it with nmap if you want. Okay. So it has finished scanning a server and zero vulnerabilities were found. So that means this particular CB has been fixed for this machine. Moving on. This particular is our target. So let's see. Okay, we found another one. Check. Yeah. Same process. port remains same as you can see uh, it has finished testing and the vulnerability has been found and it is still vulnerable so okay now our first step is clear which was identify our second step is verifying whether this vulnerability is working so for that I'm gonna use nmap script so here you go nmap script Okay, so this is the script we found out. It's the name is here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it. Then what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write dash B and uh, I will be pasting the IP here. and I'm gonna specify the port so let's see uh, the port 443 is open it's a TCP port as you all know and it's still vulnerable to this particular vulnerability so our second step is also clear we have successfully verified third step as I mentioned earlier, this is the third tool we are going to use. It basically exploits the particular vulnerability. You can get clone it from GitHub. I am going to directly go to the directory. As you can see, it's a .sh file, so I will be using bash. As 
you can see it's installed this is the particular command we use for running this so we need the IP the next thing is the command I'm gonna use here is first we don't know which directory we have to execute so I'm gonna type ls for the list of directories available okay let's give it a try again okay so this is ran into some error Let me clear this out. This happens sometimes. Okay, so let's give it another try. It keeps on learning the same error. Okay. If this happens, you just need to upgrade your Kali. Mine one is upgraded. But still it keeps on running into error. Okay. This time it successfully will run because I closed the terminal. So bash C V E S H the IP and L S. Okay, we have the output now. As you can see, these are the command outputs. So we have successfully exploited it. You can enter any directory from here by using this command. Here we go. Just need to place the IP here. And instead of ls, you can just write cat and the directory you want to get in for example etc so that's how this exploration will be working that's all for today bye guys